Hello from Canada. Eh? <laughs> I'm me, Miner. This is my dog, Daisy. She's been a rock hound her whole life. Find the gold. Where is it? Good girl. I've always loved to explore in the out of doors, hunting, fishing, camping, hiking. So rock collecting is a natural. I got my start on a ski trip to Vail, Colorado. Very close by was a town called Leadville and I was fascinated they were still getting placer gold in their creeks. I thought, man, that's something I'd like to do. Bought my first gold pan there, bought some books, ended up with gold fever, so I bought more equipment, acquired some claims in British Columbia on Antler Creek, took courses in geology at the University of Toronto, prospector's course put on by the government of Ontario, read every book I could get my hands on because that was prior to the internet. 1.2 grams. Now there's just a ton of information online, which is really helpful. Look at that. And had a lot of fun. <laughs> Welcome to Canada. We're oot a boot and looking for gold. One thing though, I noticed there was nice pretty stones in my concentrates and I wondered what they were. As I learned more about them, I became more and more fascinated with rocks and learned that there was a plethora to collect right here in Ontario. The rest, they say, is history. Come join me. If I was to offer one bit of good advice to a new rock hound, it would be join one of your local clubs. Rock people are good people. Most will share their knowledge you'll get invited to locations that you'll have difficulty otherwise getting permission and you will have fun. I continue to rock hound because it's fun, challenging, and capricious. Stay here, get back there, get back. I'm always curious about what can be found in a new site, over the next hill, or in a hole I just dug. That. I probably would have stopped rock hounding a long time ago if it was easy, boring, or predictable. Bottom line is I am delighted by nature's bounty and the treasures that can be found there. See you in the field. Bye for now.